Another question that I had, you said uh, uh, the quality. I was, I, if we can go a little bit more, uh, a little bit more deep in the, the thing that you said about the quality of the motion and of the coordination. Do you mean like what? What would that mean? Um, so it depends, of course, on what we are studying, because uh, every movement that has its uh, limitation and objectives also. So. For example, if we are studying more um, posture muscles, we will look for uh, not uh, um, a strong contraction because uh, the stronger the contraction is and repetitive and uh, all that, uh, you can hurt yourself. So we will limit that. But on the other end, if you are looking for performance, uh, depending on, on the sports or on the drumming objective, you might want some force. So, like, it depends on what we, we are studying. So, the quality could be compared to the amount of contraction. Let's say, like, a good quality motion has less contraction and a bad quality motion has more contraction, or the other way around, something like that. Uh, yes, if we are uh, yeah, if we are looking to um, for less damage, of course we yeah we want less contraction in the muscles. So here we can already start to, in my opinion, at least give clarify a little bit some points that on the internet are like super abused in my opinion. Everybody, it, and, and it's right that this happens like there's a huge uh, open conversation about what's right and what's wrong and my my conviction and also how my body's designed and i don't have like a lot of muscle strength i'm not a strong guy I'm, my body is, is pretty thin so whenever i felt like i was struggling i would try to find a solution to get around the struggle i never thought oh i have to push and i have to build muscles and and then through strength i'll, I'll gain speed because i thought then I just go to the gym and uh, you know make those parts of the muscles stronger, and then and then I'll be faster. But that, that doesn't work. But builders are not faster on drums, right? So, um, <laughs> so the contraction thing. So it's interesting. It's interesting because it kind of like um, I was thinking the same thing. Like my feeling was always whenever, even when we did the experiment, you were saying go ahead and and, and push, uh, go a little bit beyond. I like, try to push your limits, and I was like. I've never done that. Like I was out of my uh, comfort zone because that's n never how I work. I've always thought mm -hmm. when I'm pushing, I might hurt myself and, and I hurt my body. In the long run. So I've always find a solution to go around it. And then I see other people that are just saying, no, you have to develop strength in this part of the muscles so that, you know, through that you will gain speed. But then you're saying that that is not correct. And I don't know how we can go against what you're saying. So, mm -hmm. so your position. Yeah, so. it, it really depends on the type of contraction that you are um, doing, like uh, for uh, and especially since fast movements are really like um, different adaptation regarding muscle architecture than uh, strong, uh, because um, when you do um, a training, so if it's a, uh, like a training to go faster your muscle fibers adapt in a certain way. And if you do a, a training to, to get stronger, the muscle fibers adapt in a different way. So it's actually like really competitive. You, you, you can find a good compromise, but um, in the final objective, you might have to choose between the two. Yeah, getting faster and getting stronger are two different things uh, regarding muscle architecture. And, uh, and also, it's, it's I was thinking like... Music to my ears, like... <laughs> I, 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 I mean, it just, like... My, my thing is that I've tried to understand things from the outside. Like, I have no knowledge in, in science and, and like, like, that's not my... I read stuff because I'm passionate about it, but I'm not. Um, but it's... That was always my thought. I was always like, I don't, it, it made perfect sense for me that being stronger doesn't mean go faster. So then there's, I don't have to practice drums. I have to go to the gym. And to me, that was common sense. But then when I, so I, that's how I developed my technique. And then when I uh, went in the drumming community and started talking to other drummers, they were like, 
not thinking in this way. They were just like, oh, no, you have to, you know, strong and then push and then blah, blah, blah. And, and so I was like, oh, I, that's not how I do it. Um, and so it's always very interesting for me to, to hear this.